Okay, so let's start off with the very obvious title of this video, and maybe it is a little bit clickbaity, but I do not believe you should be buying Ryzen 3 processors. And before you start spamming that dislike button, please give me an opportunity to tell you why. It is no secret that I am a big fan of AMD processors, largely in the past for budget builds and was part of my first ever build with an FX 4300, later upgraded to an FX 8350. But behind me I have several AMD boxes from processors, I have a couple 860Ks there which I've used in budget builds in the past as well as a Ryzen 5 and a Ryzen 7 part and I've been happy with all of them. But the reason I don't think most people should be buying Ryzen 3 isn't a problem with Ryzen 3 in and of itself. I think it's a fine quad core part from AMD. The problem is how many other options there are around the Ryzen 3 parts in the price brackets both above and below it that make it a bit of a tough sell for me. So first off let's consider who are the people that are probably buying Ryzen 3 parts. Those will be the budget gamer crowd that just want to play their games and want to build a computer on the cheap to do that and then there are people that will be building again fairly budget computers that just want to do day-to-day -day tasks. We're talking like web, email, probably watch videos, YouTube, that's Sort of thing. The problem for Ryzen 3 is that there are currently processors in their price range from Intel and below its current price range that will do all of those tasks just as well if not better than Ryzen parts will. Now I've seen reviews of Ryzen 3 cite that there are specific tasks, especially heavily multi-threaded ones, that Ryzen 3 parts will do better than i3 parts and especially better than the Pentium parts from Intel. The problem is that's not indicative of the way most people buying these very budget processors will be using their computers. Now, I fully understand some of you may be running YouTube channels, may do a little bit of side streaming, and you may want the slight extra multi-threaded power that Ryzen 3 does provide over Intel parts. The problem is i3 processors with their higher instructions per clock and higher base clock settings without overclocking in mind at all give you a better overall gaming performance, at least in most cases, than the Ryzen 3 parts do. On the other side of the coin is the people that just want to do the uh, YouTube watching, Netflix, email, web browsing, that sort of thing, and for those people, the cheaper Pentium parts, which will save you about $30, are just as good in those day-to-day -day tasks, and the Ryzen 3 parts would be wasted power. But Shane, what about overclocking? Well, there's not great news on that front either. In its review of the Ryzen 3 parts, the Gamers Nexus found that the stock cooler included, which would be the Wraith Stealth Cooler, isn't really worth uh, using for overclocking because you can't bump voltages hardly all, which means you're going to be more or less stuck around that 3.6-ish, 3.7-ish gigahertz mark on the Ryzen 3 parts, and they start to get their edge over the i3 parts when you can get them overclocked closer to 4.0 gigahertz. So even though the Ryzen 3 1200 may come in at $110 right now, you're still going to have to invest $20 to $30 in a decent aftermarket cooler to slap on it to get a decent overclock onto that part. And again, going back to the 1300X, if you're already spending that $20 or $30 on a cooler, why not just upgrade to that quad core 8 thread part in the Ryzen 5 1400? So in conclusion, the Ryzen 3 parts, at least in my opinion, do look like good processors for a lot of people. The problem with them is that there's almost certainly better value to be had in almost any use case scenario. Whether you're a gamer, whether you are trying to do a little bit of productivity work on the side, Ryzen 5 may present a better value for you, or the i3s, or even the Intel Pentium parts may present a better value than the Ryzen 3 parts. However, if you disagree, I do want to know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Ryzen 3 parts, and will you be building a Ryzen 3 system for yourself? And as always, guys, if you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe, but all those things down below help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Who's Your Hardware. They have the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Who's Your Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.